This is an ultrasound review, and it's not primarily on the order of fast exam that was done, but it's how the images are being saved. This is your first clip, and this is great. It plays the entire clip through. I can see the descending aorta. I'm able to see some of the anatomy before, and it's a complete six-second clip. As you go through some of your other images, you'll notice um, that the probe kind of leaves the patient's body. Watch here as you lose all this contact, and your image kind of disappears, which makes it difficult to review. This happens on pretty much every single clip from here on out, where I don't know if the patient's moving, I don't know if it's a difficult patient, or if there's no contact with the skin. We have a, but if you take this clip right here, you have a great view of the left upper quadrant, and then all of a sudden, I lose it, and it keeps playing and playing and playing, and it's just black. Um, and so, this is your right upper quadrant, and the same thing um, seems to happen, not on this view here, um, but on this one here. See, it just goes away like that. So, well, I, um, I'm not sure if the probe is losing contact with the patient, but um, this, the way it works on both machines is you press the save button, and then it starts to save. Um, that's called prospective saving. And so, um, once you press the save button, you then have six seconds to obtain as many images as possible. And so, that's the main thing here, is that um, once you do the ultrasound and you have the area you want, press the save button and then fan, move it anterior, posterior, left and right, um, lateral, medial, whichever way you need to do, just so I can see the whole three-dimensional structure. Because I think this is a normal um, aorta. You have great view here, but I don't see the bifurcation. And I think one of the reasons why I don't see the bifurcation on any of the clips is because um, it was probably seen but um, it was never completely saved. Same thing with the FAST exam. I can't make a clinical interpretation only because of the fact that most of the images, um, as I illustrated, um, are you taking a look briefly and then all of a sudden it just goes away. Um, so that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.